Welcome to the next video in this series, which covers Chapter 13, Bicycle and Pedestrian Facilities from the 2023 CDOT Roadway Design Guide. I'm Jerome Estes, Design Area Engineer from the Division of Project Support at the Colorado Department of Transportation. While well, our intention was to weave as much bicycle and pedestrian design content throughout this guide as appropriate, Chapter 13 remains a critical resource. This is because Chapter 13 discusses the implementation of bicycle and pedestrian facilities in greater detail than space permitted elsewhere. The bicycle and pedestrian modes of transportation are integral to CDOT's mission of providing a safe multimodal transportation system. Planners, designers, and engineers alike can use this chapter to support the selection of appropriate infrastructure for people of all ages and physical abilities. Practitioners will consider the cyclist's user type, routes, paved shoulders, intersections, bike lanes, and shared lanes per the facility type. These design factors and more will determine the level of accommodation for bicyclists, which is also referenced in the Highway Capacity Manual. Other considerations like buffered bike lanes, the detection and signaling of bicyclists at intersections, bike lanes at roundabouts, separated bike lanes and alternative routes will allow the designer and engineer to provide safe accommodations for bicyclists. Multimodal design considerations also factor into the design of the roadway cross slope, inlets and utility covers, railways and bridges, and tunnels. For a facility type where many modes of transportation can be accommodated, Multiple factors must be considered simultaneously to derive a solution that effectively accommodates bicyclists, pedestrians, and persons with disabilities. Acceptable surface treatments, design speeds, site distances, cross slopes, clearances, horizontal and vertical alignments, curb ramps, and wayfinding are just a few of the design elements that must be examined. Other elements to consider include, but are not limited to, traffic signs, colored bike lanes and boxes, bicycle signals, and facility maintenance. Be sure not to miss the guidance on maintenance of traffic during construction for multi-use trails and other multimodal facilities because this is very important. In the next video, I will provide a summary of Chapter 14, Bridges.